Okay, here I'm running it without the uh, air filter on it. I, I have both pieces that I've, I've taken off here. It's actually running pretty good here. And I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. But I'm holding my camera today. So. Okay, so I turned it off and I fired it back up. We got it started. One concern that I have here is we're not getting a lot of gas in the fuel filter. And that goes for also if I if I hit on the accelerator, I'm not getting as much gas as I would expect. I'm told that should be basically filled up. So that's one concern. I think I'm gonna need to be looking at either rebuilding the fuel pump or replacing the fuel pump. Other than that, um, you know, if I if I put the uh, if I if I put the choke all the way down, we're idling pretty nice and we're uh, we're pretty quiet, so it, it sounds okay. I, I think some of the noise may have to do with the mechanical fuel pump, to be honest. And of course, the air filter, I think, is causing problems because that the air filter is completely off now. The other thing I did was I took the other battery back and swapped it around because, as you can see, the, the bar that goes from the firewall to the front it was getting in the way if the battery was turned around the other way. So I swapped it around, uh, replaced it with a, a standard uh, a standard post mount, which would, if you were looking on the front, it would be the negative on the right and the positive on the left. Here I've turned it around so that the battery's facing the opposite side so that we can clear the, the support. Yeah, this is a little amount of fuel here in the fuel filter. Which, by the way, this is a brand new Bosch fuel filter that I replaced on our pump filter. It's just not getting the proper fuel in there. And I, I think that's going to have to... That's going to have to do with, with the fuel pump down here. Because these are needs to be rebuilt and are replaced. The line's kind of funky on here. That's the fuel line that's connected. I need to look at that to see. It's a little bit funky going in the fuel pump. And then it comes out of there. Goes up into this broker back around the car. I may replace that with a hard line. Not sure yet. I know they make hard lines for this. Uh, I'll see how that goes. Okay, so we have this turned off. When we turn it on, we can see down below. Uh, let's go look over here. I have the light hanging. So light turns on when the alternator is not on. Start it up. The light goes out. <coughs> so I get about 15 on the oil pressure. When I press it, you know, I give it some gas, of course it goes up. Jim Carter mentioned that it, it could peg out at 30 often when accelerating. Uh, the battery looks pretty good. We're looks like we're charging a little bit, I guess that's right. Temperature looks okay. Fuel is not hooked up, so it's, nothing is hooked up, so it's reading full all the time. And I think uh, we're, it may be pretty good on on this other stuff, I'm, I'm not, I think the oil pressure seems to be working, and I'm not sure about the battery. It says it's it, it goes up and down when it's charging and not, so I think it's okay. If I press on this, uh, it doesn't move too much, I guess. So okay. Anyways, that's uh, let's turn it off. Okay, and. Turn it back on, light is on, okay, give it a little, I really just, it fires right up, 
It runs pretty good. I need to adjust the lifter, the uh, lash in the valves and uh, you know do some tune up. I I think I'm going to uh, either rebuild or replace the, the fuel pump and I should be on my way. I think the carburetor is okay. I don't see any gas leaking after I tightened it up onto the mounting bolts, uh, mounting nuts, and everything looks pretty good. Okay, that's it for right now. Thanks for watching.